Welcome back to SA Wine Weekly. Have we got a show for you? We've got the patron of Port Nalunga. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll take that. The number one ticket holder of Port Nalunga. Is there such a thing? Yeah, there is. Yeah. And, and South Adelaide at the moment. Oh, why oh, did I get in early? I'm not even introduced you to take an over, right? But we are lucky enough to have Fitzy, yeah. Frising, yeah. Ryan Fizzing. Fitzgerald. Ryan Fitzgerald. Ryan yes. Fitzgerald. That's when I'm in trouble, yes. Yeah, Ryan. Yes. Goaty. How are you, mate? I'm well. <laughs> I am very well. Holly, how well. are you? Oh, thank you. It's, it's, oh, it's so good to actually days. meet the host, the, the host of thank the most. Thank you very much. Show, Holly, really, it's so um, good to meet you. Really appreciate it. Because you're carrying the other too. bloke, aren't you? I definitely am. Strong back. Strong back. <laughs> <laughs> Quite often, I get harassed because I just talk way too much at the start. So we're going to get straight into drinks. So okay. tell me a little bit about your life. Mm. How the hell mm. did you become so successful? I don't know. This is actually, do you know what, Goda? You're going to laugh at this, but we're, we're about to rip our place down at Port Nalunga here. And we were going through all the stuff that we had in the garage. And there's these old VHS tapes. And there's a couple... Hey, a, <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of... Um, vids with mum and dad that I don't want to see but there's also a couple of nights down this footy club the Port Nalunga footy club and it's you know what there's so many I, I look I think I was lucky and blessed to get the career that I got but there's so many funny blokes that and women that we we grew up with down at the club I was laughing for for hours and hours just watching this footage I think that's a good sort of um a stepping stone to get to where you are is just being around people like yourself and growing up with those I was gonna people. Say, how do you two know each other? Well, we played footy together. Oh, really? oh, okay. So, it. how long have you been playing here, Nath? Oh, well, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> 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 no. um, Didn't think so. Actually, I was. I played nine side last season. Did you really? Yeah, did. Cool. You're yeah, kidding. I got about five kicks, five goals. Yes. And then moved five metres. How did the uh, yeah. body pull up afterwards? Oh, no, box yeah. yeah. Um, but no, no, just growing up in this club and the characters, don't get me wrong, I've stolen probably 80, 90% of the jokes from everyone here, but True. I think that was a good uh, grounding for me to start the media career that I had. Excellent. Mm. Seeing your footy career ended so quickly. Yeah, yeah, that was disappointing, wasn't it? It was. It was like me in the bedroom. Very quick, but... Entertaining. <laughs> it, was, that entertaining. It, it was very entertaining. Yeah, no, well. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump straight into the, uh, first because we've got an afternoon plan for you, mate. Like you, oh, have a look. So we're going to go to the Cockle Ale. Yes. yes. Obviously, the Footy Club's beer. Yes. And you'd probably be the patron of that too, wouldn't you? Well, they've sent me quite a few cartons over to Sydney. Yeah. And I've been sharing it around with a lot of mates over there. Let's, so uh, pass that one to Holly. Yes, Holly. That's Thank yours. you. We'll give you these uh, superb a wine. fancy glass. <laughs> yes. glasses. So South Coast Brewing. South Coast Brewery. Yes, and thank you very much to the team there for looking after the couple divers. Because, and I didn't know this, Goaty, but my young fellas played a couple of junior games for Port Nalunga. They've changed, the juniors changed the club song at the end. Because if you want to join us, you'll find us at the bar. It's not good for a 12-year-old kid to be singing after you have a win. Well, it's because we didn't have juniors. No, what is the what is the new line now? What is uh, it? If you want to join us, you'll find that we're alright. Yeah, no, but the uh, bar line's been it's changed. Gone. It's just gone. So at Port Nalunga, when you sing that song loud and proud, you'll find us. If you want to join us, you'll find us at the bar. Now we've got our own beer. There you go. Awesome. So I know Cheers. nothing about footy, so this is Cheers. an that's educational right. show no, for me. No, I don't drink See, beer. And... Pretty, it's pretty much every mm. show. For that's oh, all thank you, Nathan. Nothing about what's happening, but. First of all, what the is this glass? <laughs> like, I mean, who <laughs> <laughs> drink some beer out of that? Hey, a beer connoisseur would. Yeah, okay. A beer connoisseur okay. would drink it out of a nice glass like yeah, that. I do, poured, do you, poured quite quickly. Do you swirl it like a well, wine and you, sniff you it? You can sniff it. You oh. have been swirling beer, actually, yeah, well, on, the, on the last show. Because I'm bored of your, it's I'm bored your stories. He's I'm been injecting beer bored for a long time it. as well. Um, no, it is. It's a great beer, easy to drink, especially in the summer months. And you know what? When you're sitting there and watching that sunset, Holly, go over Southport oh, Beach or Port Alunga Beach. Sounds amazing. A couple of these. Boom. And the whole idea of the beer was mm. let's get our own club beer, let's raise some money because yeah. you know, we're trying to get a new complex. Yeah. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But I had the task of 
get a beer that everybody at the footy club will drink. Exactly. So we all loved uh, yeah. session eight. Well, well that's of summer. And <laughs> exactly. Like that. But we had to, the yeah. bar flies, yeah. the old boys, yes. the Carlton draft, the West End draft. Yes. Oh, yes. We can't drink that anymore anyway. No. And yep. the super dry well, My old man, that Fosters. The oldies used to drink Fosters down at the club. Well, they didn't have the old choice, really. It's Isn't funny it? how Foster's was Australia's number one beer, but That's no one in Australia right. actually drank Foster's. Yeah, don't you drink? You drink Foster's. No, your favourite's Victoria. VB. Melbourne bitter. Melbourne bitter. Oh, oh, yeah. Melbourne bitter. Yeah. 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 Or Southwark bitter, the old yeah. Green Death. Got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cooper's is big down here as well, but oh, massive. They used to be. Now yeah. it's Cockadiver Ale. Cockadiver Ale. So thank you very much, to It's really nice. It's, it is good. I'm impressed. It? It's refreshing. Girls quite yeah. like it. It's quite well, a yeah, refreshing it's easy beer. It's easy to drink. It's got a bit of a citrus. Yeah. I, I, I got taste. asked once to make my own beer. Right. Oh. But they wanted a different kind of flavour to it. And I thought, wouldn't it... I don't know, I'll get, I want to get your thoughts on this one. Wouldn't it be good to put a bit of zing in it and have like a wasabi beer? Well, Is that not a bad idea? I did it with sushi. Like, yep. it just... I suppose if you know you're down at the club, go to 8 o'clock, you've had a big game of footy, you're starting to hit a wall, you, but you had a wasabi beer and you just had a taste of that and it gave you a, a bit of a kick. Well, there is chilli stouts, so it's probably not such a bad idea. It's There you go. We might have to pay them. Wasabi beer. I like that. Trademark to Fitzy. Trademark. Slash Frizy slash Ryan Fitzgerald. Made by South Coast <laughs> Made by, made, made by South Coast. Let's Proceeds go to the footy club. Let's do this let's, partnership. Right, let's get it. Mm. Next beer, mm. next time you're here, we'll have it. Right? Okay, done. Right. If not, one of our guests might be able to make it. There you oh, go. So we're going to go straight on to wine too. We're going to crack into... You brought an amazing wine with you, haven't you? I have. We've got Ben Tanza, head winemaker. So we in it? Yep, you can call yep. it that. Head, fine. head winemaker from Fox Creek Wines. Now, what have you brought along, mate? Well, have um, you brought it on to uh, impress Fitzy? It better be. It better so be. this is our uh, top of the range, yeah. 2015 Reserve Shiraz. Good year. Was it a good year, 2015? Um, yeah, no, it was a good yeah, year. Yeah, it was all right. Big, big wines. Do you but get pass. sick of that? Do you get sick of people pass going, on. what was the year like? Because it is um, now, vintage is, it's, it's a lot about the weather now, and droughts in Australia, and what's going on, and rain. and Yeah, and 15 was a bit one of those years. Can actually. I ask you this question, Tansy? What is what is considered one of the best years of all time, wine-wise? Like, if you got your hands on a 2010 or a 2008, does anyone talk about a certain year or not? not yeah, really? so um, 2008 was a bit of a kind of a bit of a disaster, to be honest. Was it? Well, it started off good, but then um, yeah. it started off really good, but then we had like I think we had 16 days above 38. Yep. And basically, the, uh, the nighttime temperatures didn't get below. So it got scorched. So the oh, grapes got scorched. Scorch, yeah. 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 Take that. You know, we're pretty lucky in McLaren Vale, especially. Is, um, yes. you know, we have we have pretty even vintages. Um, the only thing I suppose is we, with, with climate change, which is you know actually happening, it's real impact. Mm. Is the vintages are moving forward, so yes. they're moving earlier. So you got to pick um, earlier. It's drier. Yeah, got yeah. you. And also, you know, you, as a winemaker, you, you yes. want you want the vineyards to ripen nice, balanced, and evenly. Yes. Um, whereas in those really hot years, you mm. have to just pick them when you have to. So, so the correct way of handling a glass is like that. Is that correct? No, that's not right. <laughs> no. So just see if you follow my lead, Fitz. Oh, it's just oh, it's just all in the wrist. The well, it's all in the wrist. Okay, wait up, wait yeah. up. I'll get it going. No, that's not. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, Holy, sorry. <laughs> so no, not, do you know what? I've got to start it on the yeah, table. Yeah, it's not the Like that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. You get like that. That's good. I didn't feel you on the alcohol. I mean, we we just cracked this bottle and and. We could have probably decanted it. Yes. Um, we yes. probably would have even now, opened it. Should up. we say probably or we should have? Well, you don't have to. But okay. um, so what is the? Oh, that's, that's really nice, Tansy. I like that. So why do you do you have to air out a wine in a decanter? Yeah, it just gets oxygen in there, opens yeah. it all up, okay. um, softens softens some of the tannins and stuff down. So softens. Oh, um, the word softens. We actually had um, some older wine on the show and. Yep. The old fella decided and told us that <coughs> before you go to work in the morning, pour it in the decanter, yeah. leave it somewhere nice and cool, leave it for eight hours. Oh, come that back, long? On it, oh, blew yeah. it away. And it changes done, the flavour uh, completely. Yeah, well, I haven't done it as yet because it never lasts that long. No. <laughs> <in there. laughs> oh, I can like, crack the bottle and people yeah. come from everywhere. Yeah. It's just like they can smell it from can I tell you? Can I tell you a quick story about my old man, Mick Fitzgerald, who's synonymous down here in Port Munger? 
we went knuckles. Yeah, knuckles. You know knuckles. Right? <laughs> so we went to I as a family gift for Christmas one year. I took them to Turkey Flat Winery in, Bar in the Barossa, mm. and it was a five course degustation. I thought we'll get some nice wines and we'll do something different. And the, the chief wine maker comes out and he's like, you've got about four or five different glasses in front of you. And he was saying, okay, this is our latest vintage. So this is 2015. Um, this is the latest vintage and you can taste it there. And then he poured like a vintage from 1997. And you could really, so we had two glasses, one from 2015, one from 1997. And he said, you can taste the maturity in the 1997. And you know, if you let, let it go for that long, how much better it tastes. And I'm not joking, I looked over and my old man, my old, go, my old man goes, why would you drink out of two glasses? And, <laughs> and went like that. And there was all these wine connoisseurs at the table going, oh, what is he doing? He poured it into one glass. Yeah, I'm not sure That's I've ever great. seen Nick this no, but no. glass of wine. No, hates wine. Half so, Bacardi um, and Cape? Yeah. Half Bacardi <laughs> and <Kate. laughs> What are we meant to be smelling on the nose? Oh, so it's, uh, I suppose with the reserve, um, it's a real blend of the entire region. So we take fruit from right up in, near Selix, right up on the hills, um, all the way through McLaren Vale. So, so the southwestern pocket of McLaren Vale, right up to the northeastern sort of pocket up in near Kangarilla. So um, my, the, the backbone of this wine it comes off a lot, almost 120 year old. Shiraz Vineyard, just near McLaren Flat. But we, no, I suppose what we do with this, we, we just blend um, not only different vineyards, but different barrels, um, and it's all barrel, uh, barrel selected. And how long do you keep it in the barrel for? So we, so it, a bit over a year, a bit year over and a year? half. Mm -hmm. yep, year and they half. American, French? Uh, well, it's, it's a little tiny bit of American in this, but um, mostly French. Okay. And French Cooper as well, so. Um, in the past, in it, like historically, there used to be 100% American oak, but slowly over time, we've refined it back down to French oak. Yeah, Mate, so that is really beautiful. Nice. How often so does the reserve get made? Does it have to be of a certain quality? Yeah. For the reserve to be yeah. made? Yeah, we've been lucky. The last time that we didn't make a reserve was in 2003. Yeah. So, um, the 03 was a bit of a uh, bugger of vintage, but um, yeah. So the last one that we uh, missed was 03. So right. this one's also Langton's classified. So you've got the Langton's um, classification. It's in the, I think it's in the exceptional outstanding category. Um, if you can though, Tansy, what, what would be the perfect time to drink this? 10 years later? The 15s, the 15, to be honest, early on, um, was a lot of the 15s from McLaren were quite yep. tough and hard because 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 it was that drought, sort of dry year, the skin to juice ratio, um, was high, so there's a lot of skin, yeah. small berries, a lot of skin, and they and they produce really big, sort of structured ones. It's just starting in the last year, I reckon. It's just starting to soften out, and um, it, you know the tannins are at first like really full on, full on. And just knew that. It was so that's where you get that bitter taste, isn't it? With yeah. wine yeah. sometimes. You know when they they, they, they they coat your mouth and you go, yeah, it sort yeah. of sucks all the moisture out of your out of your mouth. But that's smooth. That's why it's the mm. hard thing with collecting wine is holding on to it for so long. Yeah, I never want to drink them. No, I just want to keep them but this is the thing, collection. if you've got an area where it's cool and you can just keep them there for years and years, mm -hmm. there is nothing better that if you can keep a wine for 10 years and then to open it up, yeah. it's it's a huge difference. Yeah. I mean, this is still a baby. Yes. At 2015, it's yes. still a baby. Yes. So I think we've just rolled to the 16. Um, we must have a few, a, a little bit of the 15 left. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's still a baby. Like, you know, I think I was looking at tasting notes of the sixteen, um, just recently. I reckon, I reckon we, you know, we, you know, t drinking up to about two thousand and thirty-two. Yeah, yeah. Um, on this wine. Yep. So you know, you're looking at fifteen, a bit over fifteen yeah. years. But but they can stay down for a lot longer mm. um, if they sell it correctly. That's yeah, really that's, important. That's, yeah, it has to be really sell it correctly. Like you can't just leave it in the um, shed. And there's braille on the back of the... There is the, braille on the Is that when you get really blind or is that... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. okay, got it. Right. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a good innovation actually. Like a few years ago, they just, well, it was a long time ago actually, they decided to start putting, putting braille on the back yeah. of the bottles. So it's actually, our so wine has just got quite a little bit of a following from, just to go. Yep. from the uh, vision impaired society, yeah. you know. Like, yeah, they love it because I don't know, I don't know. 
So you're calling Fox Creek the only people in the wine industry to do it? Well, I'm not going to make world that call first. First, but, world but first. they could be. World, world, world first. I don't even know. No, we're claiming it today. No, we have SA Wine <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> SA Wine Weekly. Stuff, yeah, we're the only place yeah. that people yeah. do it. Yeah. We're on the reserve anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it says something like Reserve Shiraz, Do McLaren Vale, 2015. Yeah. Do not steal. Um, it, it doesn't give you the whole description. <laughs> no. I don't think it gives you the whole description of yep. like what's written on the back label. No, because I don't know about Braille, but it's there's not I that mean, many dots. Is yeah, there? it's an. I mean, yeah, this, this is, is reserved Shiraz. Tansy, did you come up with this shit? Because this is amazing. No, I didn't. Power, elegance and style are the values we strive for in our flagship Shiraz. <laughs> Painstakingly assembled. It really, was it really that painstaking to actually assemble all these individual <laughs> no, it's barrels? it's actually one of my favourite wines to put it together, is. to be honest. Yeah. Mate, when you get a 120-year-old vineyard, that's what freaks me out. How many more... That, that, would that be close that that's it? Like, I mean, how long can a vineyard no, go? No, they're still ticking. Um, 120 a lot, years. You know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of missing vines in that vineyard. And the old, and the old guy that, um, that, that ha owns, it. It, owns it, he won't let anyone in there. Um, he prunes it all himself. He's like 65 or something. Well, getting that's old. fair enough because it would be, it'd be worth a fortune to yeah. him. So we actually produce a wine off the same vineyard called the Old Vine Shiraz. Yeah. Um, so, so McLaren Flat, can you just write down where... <laughs> 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 and we'll leave the footy club on Thursday night and go and have a look. <laughs> Jump the fence. So, so, as a novice, Fitzy, as a wine novice, yes. what are you smelling and tasting? I... Right, look, for me, it's very smooth to drink. And like you said, Tansy, I think there's a lot of wines that you have and you get that bitter taste instantly. And um, that sort of puts you off a wine straight away. But this is so smooth and easy to drink. God, I don't know. What are the words that you use for wine? No, don't you Curry, just use what you do. Oaky, yeah. um, chocolate, tannins. Cigar Did tannins are worth Tannins. Cigar. What does tannins mean? Well, tannins is, is it's a mouthfeel, really. Yeah? Yeah. Like, the tannins come from the seeds mm. and the skins of the grape. Yeah. So when they go through fermentation, mm. um, obviously, you know, you've got, to, you've got the wine on the skins, so for seven or however long, um, and you plunge them every day and you're extracting the colour and the tannin. And the tannin. Yeah. yeah. So food pairing-wise, I'm pretty interested to see... Well, oh, well, I know. The, what sponsor are we going to bring on from the footy club well, to I'll, pair with this cracking I wine? would say beef with this one, yeah? You'd have to say beef. Yeah, some sort of strong meat. Holly, what are you screwing your face up for? I'm not screwing my face. No, I saw, well, as soon as no, you said you're you not. Well, you're no vegetarian. I, and yeah, I know. You, you didn't I have the know. beef salad. I understand that. No, that's... No, she's not that so today enough. we've got a full cow for you, Holly. Let's bring it in. <laughs> 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 so we've got uh, Dan from the flower store. Oh, I love Dan. Did you get Dan? We got Dan. Dan made oh. me a coffee yesterday morning. Actually, you, well, I made your dad a coffee. Yeah, that the kiss because I was. I don't I was, want to say anything about that. that. <laughs> so what do we got, Dan? All right, we got a uh, steak sandwich. Yep. Oh, a legend with some cheese too. Made on big steakhouse bread. Looks so nice. Uh, Southern Bale's eggs, mate. It's all happening. Oh, there. so this is just, just jump, jump in here and uh, tell us, tell us what we got. All right, mate. So you've got a, a, a steak sandwich, flour store steak sandwich. Uh, it's a porterhouse steak, mm. bacon, free range egg. You've got uh, Beck's Bakehouse, herb and garlic, oh. tomato loaf. Wow. And uh, shoestring fries. Get oh. amongst it. So mm. you don't have a knife and fork, mate. Oh, no, I noticed I'm that. really sorry. <laughs> That's a bit hot. I'll go to Goody's knife. No, we'll, no, okay. It's so you know, What did you want to do? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Fitz, you did come so this could be amazing, but don't worry about it. This is all local project. This is all local project. As local yeah. as we can get it, mate. Right. Yep. Nice chips. Thank you so Very much. Good. Yeah, we try hard. And uh, tell, tell people a little bit about Flower Store. Uh, well, uh, built in the probably the oldest uh, building in, in Port Nalunga. Well, at least one of the walls. Well, that's a big call. Uh, that's a big call. 1846. Don't want to say anything. Oh, 1846. Um, Ocean graphics. It used to be <laughs> for 37 years, mate. Well, it was. Yeah. As kids, I flogged, I mean, I spent <laughs> so much time from that in that place. And you had the big 
half pipe out the yeah, back. You yeah. did, you yeah. did. Yeah. 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 So that's now Port Burger. Uh, yep. So yeah, no, so we're up there, little coffee shop, we yep. do uh, breakfast and lunch yeah. five days a week. It's good fun. Mate, it's magnificent. And you I call love your the coffee. Door every now and then. Best coffee in Port Alunga as well at the flower Ooh, store. Oh, I have had a coffee I've there. It. Very I've nice. It. It's a big claim. Of course. I'll take it. So with the beef and the wine. Made it messy. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Happy campus. Mm. Dan, right thank you very much. Oh, what a time to be alive. Thank you, mate. I'm all bite. We're done. The wine's quite dark. It's, it's red. almost like a. No, we're talking about the food, aren't we? <laughs> no. We're talking about the food. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the anthocyanins. Yeah, yeah, right, mate. It is. Well, yeah. Look at that. You pulled that out. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Someone's been doing some. That's the tannins. Yeah. Tannins. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you know, anthocyanins are like. What? They're basically tannins, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, they yeah. colour more. Well, there you right. go. They change colour with pH, so. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Are you a white mate? Oh, well, Thank you very much. Pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty uh, decent pairing, if I don't say so myself. And Dan, you stock a lot of the local I do. breweries, I stock... wines, everything as well at your place, we don't do, you? We do, we do. We're fully licensed, so we've got uh, we've got the beer on the... Um, of course you get in your yeah. yeah. ale. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 10% of everything goes to the football club, mate, so you've got to support it. Thank oh, you very uh, much, buddy. And uh, yeah, no, we're, we're all about it. So we change our wines frequently. Yeah. Um, Good yet, mate. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I've been hanging for you to come down. Are you um, open seven days a week? No, five days a week. Five days a week, okay. Tuesday, and recommend so. booking? Uh, we don't take bookings, walking okay. only. Yeah. Um, recommend coming early. Yeah. But get, get, get in early. They are, you you open at seven. Open at seven. Seven o'clock. If you're not from Port Nalinga? Mate, if you get there after nine o'clock, it's busy. Yeah. So you've got to get there early. I recommend getting early. Yep. I reckon I've got a best in... Best, a best reward blouse oh store I haven't used yet. A voucher? Oh, yeah, voucher. A voucher from oh, Dan. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> best against flag stuff. Come and use it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they run out in January, so you want to know how you can use it. What did we oh, get to go that day and then they, dra then they pull me back to the back pocket? What did you get juniors go? If you got in the best players, you get a McDonald's, you get a Happy Meal or something. Remember those days? Yeah, you know. Rip off the right. side and... I, don't, I wasn't really the best in the gym. No, you had to be the best at Ferris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get the best on ground. I've a few best on ground. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> See, Ray. No, thank you, mate. No, it's Sunday Agro. Sunday yeah. Agro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday Agro. Yeah. 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 I'll get in some trouble about that. Anyway. Tansy will be playing for Pagey this year in the C right? That's yeah, going to be a tough Pagey. team. Oh, oh, that's good. Cool. I would be not be wanting to play against them. A few elbows going up there, if you know what I mean. After a few wines. Thanks for joining us on SA Wine Weekly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we're not over. <laughs> Almost. Right. Dan, you've so, done yourself. Dan, thank Thanks, you. Mate, that's awesome. Good, Good to see you, mate. You too. Thank, thank you. I look, I look forward to coming down. Just come from uh, Sydney, so you're plastic yeah. contested. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Uh, we sanitise. Uh, we've got a sanitising station. <laughs> Sorry. Day, mate. Mate, it's all legal. I've been thank tested. you very much. I'll pass it very around nice to everyone, so we're all right. All right. Have a good day, guys. See you later. Oh, I'll just wait for Tansy to stop eating. <laughs> he didn't mind the state saying at all, but was, then right. we can wrap up. Holly? Sorry, mate. What, what, are you, what, are you, what were you going to say about the colour of the wine? I'll just say it's very dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a... Holly's you know? wine review. This, this <laughs> wine dark. is the darkest I've ever had. Yeah. It is nice, though. It's easy to drink. It is oh. really easy to drink. Is it punchy? It's... Hold on. I've drunk mine, look at mine. Yeah, yeah, it's a little punchy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Do we get Very one? Nice. We get one to take home. Or? I've got you some other ones. <laughs> oh, you got the shit to rest. <laughs> 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 you, actually, no, I've got you some blends. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, so sorry, didn't sorry. get the reserve. The host, okay. got, the the host, the host got one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so where, where can we purchase um, um, wine? Online. Yeah. Online. Um, this one, yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, probably the easiest way is go to Cellar Door or online. No, okay. go see George. Go see George yeah. in the Cellar Door. Yeah. Because it is a great experience mm -hmm. in the Cellar Door. Yeah. Um, the old original postmaster, wasn't it? The yeah. Fox, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Postmaster yeah. of Wollonga. It's a beautiful old Cellar Door. Yeah, and his, mm -hmm. his lad won a uh, medal in World War One. Yep. Yeah, won a, oh, cool. what was it? Distinguished well, Service Medal? Oh, oh, wow. Like, uh, uh, I can't remember. Oh, we'll we'll not spot it. Yeah, that's all right. No, we'll flash it up and cut that bit out, but you're all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> amazing wine. Fitzy, you should come to
the show more often. Nobody brings this sort of wine on. Yeah. The show. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is I, I, I actually had reserve. to fight a little bit to get this wine on. We're going to put something else on. I'm like, nah. We'll no, you've got to put the reserve. And there's half a bottle left. Tell you what, Cody, you're, you're not taking that one home. I am. Holly, go get stuff. That's mine. Tansy, no, you have done an exceptional job. Thanks, mate. And um, Dan's, so you got to get some Fox Creek in there at their flower store because I want to go down there for a stay yeah. with, the, with Fitzy and the. That's the, the next one. Well, I'll, I'll get the guys onto it. Yeah, no, nah, straight onto it. Thanks, Tansy. Mm. Your, awesome. your taxi's waiting for you. Yeah, the Very nice. Mate. If you could yeah. get going now. <laughs> I, 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 I can walk over there, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> You've done that plenty of times. Uh, yeah. You've rolled on. <laughs> I've rolled on. Oh, yeah. Classic stuff. Yeah. Excellent. So, wow. Thank you. What, what, a, what a great wine. Stay Very thin. impressive. I'm not sure how we're going to top wine one. What an amazing start with Fox Creek. Tansy. It's not true what they say about him when he's not No, nah, he's not a pretty But our next guest has made the panel look a lot nicer. I'll tell you that much. We've got Anna from Zontes. Zontes. From Anna! Woo! Woo! So let's taste your wine. Well, we're doing something a little bit different. Sorry. Are you good luck? Yeah, what is this? Can, open it. Yeah. can I show can I show everybody? You can show everyone. So this what are is, we looking? This is my middle little camera, middle camera. Middle you know, camera. When you're stupid enough to own a wine company, yes. you're gonna have fun with it, right? Okay. So we make four Shirazes from oh. four different regions around right. South Australia. Right. Um, Zonte started in Langhorn Creek in 2003, yes. Yes. moved to McLaren Vale in 2009, yep. our first vineyard there, and in 2014 we bought an Adelaide Hills vineyard. Got so it. we had three regions of Shiraz, yep. and of Barossa. course, well, look, eventually you have to make a Barossa wine, but yes. I would say we don't own vineyards there, but we do have an amazing grower that we work with. Yes. So uh, mm -hmm. last year we decided that it was time to get our grown-up pants on yeah. and develop a, a let's let's call it a challenge oh. not a, let's not call it a drinking game because yeah. that's not no, you're not allowed to do, do that, that. No. we don't do that and it's not really but mm -hmm. we have four bottles yes of wine you can take the top taste off taste the regions Okay, so we don't have any idea what the regions are here. Correct. Okay, got you. So we have one, oh, two. Would you like to hand out the uh, placemats? Yeah, okay. Three. I'm excited. And four. So I'm going to play it too, so when okay. I don't guess any of them right, yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, look yeah. really bad, it's right? It's really embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Well, you're not the wine maker, so you That's true, that's true, that's yeah, true. Right. So, right. which number should we start with one? Yeah, let's well, start. Well, let's start. Okay. One. She says, and she can't open the. Uh oh, don't, don't cheat. Lucky you can't see anything from there. Okay. So, oh, so do your circle taste like so plums, got a... cherries, rhubarb, a hint yeah. of pepper? Yeah, see, so we've given you some cheat sheets. Okay. Holly, I'm sorry, my arm's not that, quite so that good. Okay, so what you're doing is you open each of the bottles. Yes. They're clear, they're, you know, you can't actually see what's inside each of the bottles. Okay. And you're going to use all of your senses to try and guess which is in one, two, three, and four. And then, are they all charades? They are all charades. Oh, wow. Can I say that's a bit lighter? That's a lighter Shiraz? Am I, am I right? I'm not going to give you any clues. Okay. <laughs> that's not the fun. It's so, so you look at the colours. So you're going to look at the different colours of the different wines as we go through. Probably the main one main one that you'll see a bit of a difference might be the Adelaide Hills Shiraz. Okay. Because the hills are alive. Shh. No, no, no hints. Oh, no hints. Okay, no hints. sorry, no hints. Yeah. yeah, so we've actually gone through the exercise of... Um, uh, this is now available online through dance, yeah. um, but also through our cellar door, and it's just a great little Chrissy present, right? How much does it sell for? So it's 160, 160. SRP, yeah, with the four wines in it, and the, and the tasting experience. I actually drank mine before I actually sampled it. Can you pass Holly, the bottle back? Can you pass the bottle back? Or should sure you want to just go to number two and just, you know, All right. keep trying? All right. okay. What are we at? Where are we? Number two? All right. Okay, I've picked mine. You've gone. You've gone with your number one. Yeah. Bum bum. Oh, it's not family food, is it? Oh, it's. it's <laughs> I'm. Uh, now we may need to actually empty your glass though. Okay. So if you yeah, want me to go do that. slightly less pours, I can do that, or I could. You could just. Or man you could up. just man up and drink up. <laughs> He's from. Sydney. He's from Sydney. I've sucked You'll a few fine. dregs out of this footy club. <laughs> 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 That's good. Nathan Goat was one of them. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, it was 
stays in the fridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is number two. Oh, Thanks, gosh, Joanna. this is so hard. Do you, uh, oh. Anna, can I ask what, like a wine, a wine tasting course? They, yep. they do them, don't they? There's, you need to do, do you need to go move? My wife, right, is, <laughs> there's this walkie talkie option on your Apple Watch and she... She's messaging you. She's messaging me as a walkie talkie. What a, what a mum. Um, no, she's lovely and I love her. But she knows that I'm doing something at the moment. Yeah. Um, so, is there a wine tasting course that you can do at like TAFE? I think there is, isn't there? Well, there is, but there's actually um, there's a couple of different courses. There's a really good beginner course here in South Australia, which is actually run by the Wine Centre. Right. Um, it's a nice little, I think it just runs for about three hours, yeah. and they just take you through some of the basics, and mm. that's run by the South Australian Wine Industry Association, and that's a really good one to do. Yeah, got you. A little bit high, harder and more complicated than that is the... Um, Wine and Spirits Education Trust, yep. which is WSET. Is that right? And Jill, Jill, Jill runs that Jill down, runs. In, um, Got you. down um, in Aldingaway, and she is amazing. But so that's, that is, that's intense, but that's proper That's, that's proper taste. So you rock up and there's 50 wines in front of you, and you've got to go oh, through no, each one. That's, that's, that's probably about the Masters of Wine okay. level. We're probably not quite right. there yet. Let, let's go with level two. Mm. Let's start us on level one, mm. and then maybe move to level two, in which case what you're mainly going to learn yeah. about is diff basic differences. Well, let's, okay, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Mm-hmm. Ready for number three? Okay. Do you want to put it on the bottom? I love it. This is a worry. Oh, I'm going to be maggot after this. <laughs> Not the first time. I think I know this one. I can tell from the colour. Oh. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, look at it, guys! Oh, listen to it. Just it. That, is, that is a big call off. I'm, right. I'm back and you get zero. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get this. She has been out of place. I have been out of place. I know. Alright, let's go move those. I'll tell you what, the ratings are dropped off. The ratings are dropped off severely. Okay. We had to bring Luke on to bring back up. Sorry, I'm... Are you changing? No, you're not changing. No, I'm changing it because of... No, I'm going to do mine last. Tansy will turn that into a reserve. So the... The, the best part of this one is this one, all of these wines are 2017 vintage. Right. All of these wines were made in the same winery. So basically the difference is regionality, which is why it's also a bit of fun. Right, well, it's called tasting regions. I think I'm regions. changing. Yeah. Why it's called Some tasting blue. regions. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm still on number three. Ready? Okay. So have you decided no, I'm, I'm changing? Going. You're changing? Are you changing? I'm going, no, I'm sticking. I'm sticking. He's gone. There we go. Oh, I'm so nervous. Come on. I mean, even if you get them all wrong, you half take that. Yeah, it's a great game. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great. Depends how many it's people you really, invite for dinner. It's a really good idea. Because technically you can have 10 people. Wine, and then those, you're really not that. Wine tours are, I love them, but by the end of the day, you are... You know when you're driving to that last winery and there's always someone on the bus going, just swaying yeah, out. <laughs> we went on a wine tour for our workshop. I'm not yeah, sure if we're allowed to talk about that. I had to put my foot up and hold Adrian her out. <laughs> she was driving too, which yeah, is no, weird. Okay, can good. we have a look at our answers to see? All right. All right, so now. Okay, well let's. So now you've got to find the little pool from here. Yeah, oh, right. I love this. Oh, yeah, so cool. grab your little. Oh, actually, we can each do one. Yeah. See who's, who's, oh, who's right. actually capable. And you basically peel from the bottom, and if the strip comes off like yep. that, if you're good, you'll get the strip come off like so. I right. oh, don't yeah. forget what number you are, by the way. Oh, this is a great idea. And then. So, you're guys, hills are alive. Top left was number three. Anyone oh, get number three? Nah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did no. number three. I didn't even guess. No, he did. He's up there. Oh, there you are. One, two. No one no got one three. Got oh, this is going to be was four. Chocolate oh. Factory was four. What, what, oh, what, what number is that? What number is that? Oh. That was the bottom one. That was the one I changed. Yeah, that's the one I changed and I shouldn't have. I was right the first time. So then <laughs> Shiraz 2. Two? Baron Von Nemesis yeah. was two. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. We got absolutely We got zero, right. didn't we? Pumped. Oh but no. he had a great time doing it, guys. Well, I got four. We got. No, you didn't. <laughs> you did not. And number one, Lake Doctor. 
Late doctor. So how did you go? Oh, look so at you go. Smarty pants. Oh, I've got one. No, wait up. I've got one. You got, you got one. No, I got right. four. You got one. You got that you one. You got four? Yeah. No, you, you did not. You did not. <laughs> no, you did not. But you got four wrong. Yeah, you got four wrong. But... Hold on. Wait. Yeah, oh, hang on. Who's cheating? <laughs> wait, what did you decide on? Did you decide on base? So you got three. Mm. I got... Oh. How did you do mate, this? Mate, how did... Can I, I just say... One, smell. Four. No, that was three there. Three was that one. That, okay. was, that was where you, so I was all yeah. wrong, so don't look at mine for the cheat sheet. Okay. Well, we got there, we got one. You got one right. Well done. Well done. Two. Well done two. Two. two right, I changed. Did you see how she got? I got one. You got one? Got, uh, <laughs> I got the late doctor. Well, over there. I think that means you should drink a little bit yeah, more Yeah, no, look, I, you know what, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stick around, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone Anna. call me an Uber? Thanks, no, I won't give you that. <laughs> no, <Anna. laughs> You don't have to get an Uber. Thank you, get you walk so from much, here. Anna. I really, oh, no, oh, oh, so, oh, sorry. I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> sorry, Anna. I had too much. <laughs> so, sorry, Anna. Just brought me back to the 90s. <laughs> had some amazing wines. Started off with a crocodile ale. Yes. Now, friends of South Coast Brewing mm -hmm. happens to be Lee from Shifty Lizard, also in Wollonga. And we haven't brought Lee on for his beers. Mind you, I did get him to bring me some. <laughs> Why he came here, but well, that's another story. And I will fix you up another day. Um, <laughs> the gin. Yes. Tell oh. us about. No, Fitzy. I did this no, specially. No. I did this specially. Mate, for can, can I just say, my missus and I at the moment are big gin and tonic fans. But I didn't know that there was a bit of an art to putting a gin and tonic together. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone immediately thinks you get that cheap tonic from the petrol station and you just chuck it in with a bit of gin. Now, what's the what's that original gin that everyone's used for years? That that. Oh, the. Uh, oh, the, London, the London Dry. London Dry. Oh, London and, Dry. And, and Mum and Dad used to have that back in the day. Yeah. But it's not that. The cool. styles have kind of changed and all that with it now. That's kind of why we've gone New World Dry Gin because it's like, like beer, you can be really crafty with it now. So you can kind of accentuate those flavours that you're actually getting in the gin. It's amazing. So we're kind of pushing it out a little bit. This one in particular has been um, the New World, so we've gone very juniper forward. Yes. And so anybody that knows gin and that knows that um, juniper is a key element. It's not. It's not a gin unless it's got juniper in it. What's what is juniper? It's a little berry that grows on trees. Okay. And uh, basically, you can kind of crush is it. Is it near mercury, the or is it? No. I don't know. No. Oh. I'm thinking oh. Jupiter. Oh, sorry. All right. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am out. Jeez, the checks are getting worse. <laughs> yeah. Jeff's really yeah, starting to slow down. <laughs> um, so there is a little hint of berry in your gin. Yep, so the juniper is a key ingredient. Um, we also put in angelica rue, we've got coriander, um, Tasmanian pepperberry. Uh, we've also got like a handful of other kind of botanicals that we put yes. in, ginger, yep. nutmeg, um, all sorts of stuff to kind of bring the flavors together, bind them all together. Um, lemon in there as well, and surprisingly, one of the most citrus elements in it is nutmeg. Which I never really knew yeah, had so much citrus about it. Different flavour. Oh, yeah. oh, that that is cool. today's yeah. useless but interesting fact. <laughs> there you go. The nutmeg. Nutmeg. Yeah, no, no, we love it. Yeah. So can it's you? Now, can we honestly do this properly? Mm -hmm. Because I want you to show everybody how to make a proper gin and tonic. Because this will blow your mind. We'll, did. we'll start with the little, just like so you can have. You can see We're what going it is straight. on its own. Stands up by itself. We're going straight. And then we'll add to it as we go. So but you don't really drink gin straight, do you? Oh. You can, yeah. Do you do a little wine? Yeah, absolutely. Go you swirl it? Well, you don't have to. You can do whatever you like, mate. Yeah, yeah, yes. So people do it on the rocks, do yeah. it's It's a very much very similar kind of thing to wine and that. You can swirl it around yeah. and really get that flavour kind of... Once you get aerated a little bit, yes. it kind of brings out the flavour. It's yeah. exactly the same with beer as well. Got you. you know, so give it a swirl. Let's, let's have a it. smell and yeah. uh, get the layman to tell us. You can smell the coriander. I tell you what, she's good. It's good for clearing the nostrils. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. There's a bit of uh, so. What sort of uh, alcohol content are we looking at? Forty-two percent. Um, you turn around, Jesus so the readers can Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be a good idea. Forty-two percent alcohol, so it is very strong as opposed to some of your vodkas, and that be around about twenty percent. Mm. Um, so it is a big, bold kind of spirit. Um, mm. So popular now because it is a very um, easy kind of spirit to make. Mm. Um, it doesn't take you very long. 
Um, whereas obviously things like whiskey and all that, it yeah. can take you know three years really before it's classified as whiskey. Yes. So, um, so you get a huge bit of kind of juniper and citrus. Citrus is a prominent um, kind of flavour that you get there on the nose. So if you have a little, it is yeah, strong. It'll it give you a little strong. zing. <laughs> yeah. Where's the nostrils? But you'll see what happens once you add that tonic into it. Okay. So that is, I like it. You know, <laughs> it, it, it smells like a bloody good night, if you know what I mean. Before we throw the ice cut in a really kind of... Right. Um, so how, <laughs> show us how we actually make it. Are you with um, us, mate? Yeah, no, no, well, I did ask before, but now we're, we're just drinking straight, straight fucking gin and I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll add a bit of the tonic and that onto it now. Um, okay, now this... Can you tell everyone the tonic does play a crucial role Huge. in your gin and tonic? It really settles out that spirit. Yes. You know, the, 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 I mean, you can get Fever Tree are probably our favourite um, sorts of tonic yes. to use. Some people like to use soda Fever water tree. And as well. Yep. Fever Tree, and they've got Mediterranean, they've got Elderflower, Lemon, they do a variety mm. of it, so you can get all these different flavours in it as Who well. It? So, uh, that one is Fever Tree. Right. Yep. Tree. And right. just a little tip for everyone as well, just for anyone who does have a wedding band, fellas out there, pretty simple, just put it under there, straight off. I mean, it ruins your wedding band, but who gives a shit? <laughs> I mean, um, if, I'm, if I'm correct, you only pour a little dash of the tonic. Yeah, generally no. kind of same sort of ratio on that. I probably filled them up a little bit higher to start with because we're going to throw some ice in, we're going to go to the garnish, so we just kind of go for the full. Yeah. The ice? Do we put ice in now or have um, a drink? Now have a taste of it to okay. see what that tonic has done Mate, to the actual just, Can you just slow down? down? Okay, just slow down. Savour it. That is, that's a lot more refreshing. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yep. Because the other that, the other one was quite harsh. Forty two percent hits you massively. Yep. You can't even yep. like it doesn't even hit you. Yep. The tonic reminds you of uh, New York yep. days and all that stuff. I it love does. Yep. The Colonnades Tap. I know. Exactly yeah. Right. Oh, you know New York Colo Tavern. Yeah. Lenny's. It's not a shenanigans. It takes you back to some of the most amazing places <laughs> around the world. <laughs> the we? Crown down at Victor. Sleeping we? in the back of you. HQ station where you can buy yourself again. <laughs> um, so you can see what that is. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, so uh, that to I've done it again. Sorry, I blanked out then. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. so, you, <laughs> Before you were really interrupted. Yep, exactly. Well, actually, I was excited about that. I've been waiting. And it came a lot faster than I anticipated, but I was ready. So well, you, you're not the first. <laughs> oh, Alright, so you can see what that's done to like all those oils yeah. and that within the gin. It's really brought out that juniper flavour. You've got that real nice citrus still on it there, so yeah. You know. Can we put some ice in Absolutely. Place? <laughs> and some garnish? Absolutely. I really want to go all out and take, because it does, it makes a huge difference when you do the whole lot with the garnish as well. Holly. I agree. Oh, go for it. We're just mess, must tell people we're not filming this in Sydney. No. So, <laughs> and you were pretty lucky, Fitz, to slide across. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it came straight from the oh. Northern Beaches. And as soon as I saw it, I gave you a message on the old WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. no. We you were happily there. sitting there in the West. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Oh, so the whole yeah. Rosemary. Yeah, we're on the whole hog here. So well, why rosemary? It, the rosemary flavour and that, it's just like when you cook your chickens and all that. Yeah. It adds such a depth to that aroma. Got yeah. You mix it in there. I actually like to use the uh, rosemary as to wow. stir it in there. I mean, normally we'd use some kind of spirit specific kind of glasses. But oh, okay. Sorry. Wait, that's that's well. <laughs> We'll, we'll, have, we'll have a chat with that. Also, you know, sponsor, also we'll good for any in hairs that you <laughs> <laughs> I use those guys as well. Like, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, so, well, then you can show us how to add your garnish onto that. So, if you yeah. want to do the, the dried um, oranges, these are, you know, you do get the flavour in that out of the orange, more so before it's dried. But um, so that, we, as is a decoration. Is blood orange or just. Uh, these are just normal oranges, normal I believe. Orange. Yeah, the blood orange, you can just really see kind of that red colour. Um, just under the, the skin and that right. there, so... Um, I'm in trouble with that. Oh, <laughs> right. All right. If you give that a bit of a stir and that now, and, and uh, a bit of a smell, you'll really get that rosemary that kind of pokes through there and makes a nice G and T, nice balanced little flavour. Now, 
I'm not joking. That is refreshing. That is a refreshing drink. That, as the sun's going down. That's what I'm picturing on the yes. beach. Yes. Or even. As the, yep. As I, was thinking more of, I was thinking more of when the sun's coming up and you're just about to head <laughs> Yeah, yep. <laughs> just got home. <laughs> yep. Oh, that is magnificent. It's a yeah, beautiful, that's so summer for me, and it's a really easy, refreshing drink. Really easy to put together. And the rosemary doesn't really overpower. No. It's just oh. a very subtle. Compliments it. That's yeah. all it does. And those garnishes are really there to complement the gin. The, you know, the, the, the main ingredient, the, the biggest part about the drink is the gin. And yeah. if you've got a shit gin, you'll know about it. If you've got a shit tonic, you'll know about it. Mm. So put them all together, nice balance, bit of garnish on top of it, really complimentary. Do you know what? Yeah. We've got a massive rosemary tree at the front of our place. Truro Street up the road at Port Home. Come along, take some rosemary, wherever <laughs> you want. Rub it into your lamb and also into your gin. On Fitzy. Yeah. Good on you guys. Yeah. Everything that's on the show, is available for how good is this show? All they have to do is comment. It's the yeah. best. And because uh, it's not live, because we couldn't uh, get your agent yep. to agree to be live. Um, <laughs> it, all you have to do is comment on Facebook yep. or YouTube, yep. depending on which one Mum Dad let you in. You have to be eighteen. You have to be eighteen. You we'll, do. Uh, debatable. Mm. Well, you yeah, have to at least have an ID that says okay. you're eighteen. Oh, yes. Fakey. Oh, yeah. fakey. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll get you on kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can though. If you <laughs> can, if you can DM me, I'll get you some rosemary and a fake ID. <laughs> All these amazing prizes are available yep. by commenting on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, th this, for somebody who makes beer, you've done a pretty good job of a gin, I reckon. I'm not just a hat rack. No, no, no you, this, this is, and I must say, a few years ago, you go down to down to Dan Murphy's and you'd see a bit of Hendrix, a bit of Bombay, a bit of uh, Gordon's. Yes. Now you go down to Dan Murphy's. I know. Oh, it's, it's massive. Oh, yep. Yep. So, and South Australians are doing a pretty good job, aren't we? Just like, you know, the, the craft beer scene and all that. It's, people are making some brilliant stuff locally. Mm. So you can get out there and support it. McLaren Vale has come about. It used to be very much a wine region. And now, you know, we've got our brewery out there. We've got our distillery out there. You've yeah. got Never Never. You've got a lot of the guys south coast as well. Yep. So there's a good reason to get out there and spend a whole week out there. Love it, yeah. mate. Good, for the, good the for the boys, boys really. Cheers. Yeah. You know, the, Cheers the to everyone. Yeah. Cheers to... Cheers. Cheers. I've got to say, what a... What an absolute treat it was to have you on the show, Fitzy. And I might disagree, but no, it I was an absolute treat. Totally yeah, thank you. This would have to be the biggest coup for you guys. No, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure. When I'm ever back in Port Alunga, you know I'll always be on SA Wine Weekly. Wine Weekly. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> it's my favourite show. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, if you've started yeah. off with some Cockleyver Ales, yes, you've moved on to some amazing Fox, reserve Fox Creek from Fox Creek. Then you've played the Zonte's Taste of Regions game. Yes. And then you finished off the night on the yep. Soul Bird. Yeah, but what do I have a, what do I have to eat? Well, so what we're gonna do is if you have had a massive night and all of this, where would you head first thing in the morning upon the lunker? Chefy Shelby's. Oh, Makes some of the most amazing burgers. And another awesome club sponsor. Beautiful. So I've actually got the hangover. Yeah. What have you got? Oh, uh, full Monty. The full what? Well, Maybe. Oh, if you like it. No, I reckon Fitz is more keen to. Oh, I've got the right. I'm, I'm, take, take. I'm taking off with the right brothers. Cheers. 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 Thanks, guys. Go and see.